Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to learn uh, the use of single trailing and double trailing in SAS. And uh, we will learn and see how we can control the pointer in SAS, which is very, very important uh, to control the pointer. If you know how to control the pointer, so life is very easy to read, uh, you know, any positional data and if we have to read from any position. As we have already discussed in our previous lecture that uh, the default position of reading a data in SAS is at the rate 1 which is first position but what if we have to move the position randomly or rather than reading the data from at the rate 1. So let's read and understand and also at the same time we will see the difference in single trailing and double trailing. So let's start. I would say this single trailing, trailing, and this is my double trailing, and we will see the use of uh, this, right? So let's start with at the rate, single at the rate. Create a small data, let's say data. Read anything. Input, let's say. F name and last name. So considering both the variable as a character, I'm using a dollar cards. So let's say Sam Dissel. Wow. All right. I'm just giving a very static name here with a defined field so that I can show you the you know usage proper use of uh, trailing right so i'm going to take here a name with three uh, words uh, let's say sam de silva and uh, any name let's say pam pam any any name sam david ram sharma let's take this okay See, uh, why I'm taking uh, exact positioning name is like I, I want to give a name which will start at the same position for every field just to show you the impact of uh, trailing. So we will see this position is 5 for first observation and for the second still same 5 and third observation the position is still same for last name. Right. Now let's see how to control uh, your data based on single trailing like how can you change the pointer location to read the data which is uh, default is at the rate one every time when we read the data whether we write like this or not I'll show you uh, I'm reading this data and this is my first name and last name first name and last name now I'm using at the rate one here and I'm reading this data again now see there is no difference in my output let's check the log also everything is fine now why we don't use every time at the rate one is just because we know this is the default anyways as will read from the very first position which is at the rate one so even if you are not writing nothing is wrong so now the idea is to change the position for SAS to read the data from this particular position so what I'm gonna do here uh, I want to read the data from this position for my first name right and for my last name I want to read my data from this position which is uh, if you will see with the default behavior it's not possible to jump to the uh, you know different location and start reading but with the help of uh, this pointer control of course we can do this so what I'm gonna do here to define the uh, position from where I want to read uh, my data now before I put any value for the last name I want you to in, uh, I want you to guess the output or uh, you know make a logic to understand what will come in output so what will happen here I'm saying at the rate 5 so basically at the rate at the rate 5 is nothing but for SAS to read from here instead of here so what will happen this De Silva will come in first name David 
will come in first name and Sharma will come in first name. Let's see this. De Silva Pam. Okay. I will tell you why this has happened. See. The first thing SAS has started reading from here at the rate 5 which is De Silva. Now after this there is no data available. I hope you understood, uh, understood and you got to know why this output has come because we have already covered PDV and uh, if not then I would rather say you need a lot of practice to work on PDV level where we have to understand the reading methodology. No worries, I am explaining this output why this has happened. Like we have De Silva and Pam. So SAS has started reading from this position. That is why you can see De Silva here. And after this, there is no data available for last name. So it went to this position, Pam. Right? So your Pam is under last name. Now what will happen? The pointer will move to this line and here you have to read this Sharma instead of Ram, right? And if I make another line and why this Sharma has not in our output is just because of the incomplete data. There is no more data available to fulfill this last name. So for example, if I write something, let's say um, any, uh, any name or some, if I'll give some another value like this. Uh, let's say Ram Sharma uh, from South right so let's say this now see Sharma South it's just because it's completing the data at this line for this uh, uh, row for this equal to 2 for this record so Sharma earlier did not come in output is just because of the incomplete data so the moment I define uh, a value we could able to see that like it is uh, compiling the second observation also with the defined value whatever it is giving after the first name and south is basically for the last name now what I'm gonna do here I'm going to write at the rate 1 uh, I'm sorry where I want or to instruct SAS for first name start reading from position f 5 and uh, for last name start reading from position 1. Let's see. So interpret the output. Understand what will be in, in your output. So De Silva David Sharma will be in your first name and while I'm reading from at the rate 1 for last name. So it's not something that I'm reading from uh, you know, I'm reading with the normal behavior that I'm instructing SAS start reading from 5 and go on like as, as the way you read. No, here I'm controlling it. So what I'm trying to do here to read the first name uh, from this position and for last name uh, from at the rate 1. Let's see the output. Now see this. Interchanged of your data. So basically first name is in your last name and your last name data is in your first name. This is look, this is how we control the data. Interesting. Now for example, I want my data. I hope you understood understood this. See at the rate 5, that means I'm uh, pointing my position for first name to read data in. So this is the position. Look here, column 5. Now from here I want to read my data for first name. And for last name, I want to go back and read the data for last name. So what SAS is doing? Reading this, going back, reading this, going back for all the observations available in my data. Right. Now I'm going to give the same position to both the variables. Now tell me what will be the output. In this case, you're going to repeat the values for both the variables. See this. De Silva, De Silva, David, David, Sharma, Sharma. Now, this is anyways uh, 1, even if I will not write. And now this is at the rate 1. Now, tell me the output. Sam, Sam, Pam, Pam, Ram, Ram is just because I am instructing SAS to read 
for read start reading from this position for both the variables so i hope you enjoyed this concept of single trailing like how to read in and how to control your data so this way you can control your data you can define any range any any pointer position let's say 2 and let's say 3 so now tell me the output here in this case as we'll start reading from this value uh, from i'm sorry from this position which is 2 uh, just locate it here and uh, for last name it will start reading from this position which is 3 see the output so am 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 and now last name only am is because uh, it's reading from this position and for first name it's reading from this position now look uh, for double trailing how it works so let's take the same data to save the time this is your first name last name and let's say age also which is 24 53 32 and i have some data like this right but uh, let me change the name also let's say let's say rosana any any name just to give the data um, sara like this okay what i'm going to do here for example you got a data like this um like this i'm sorry Now let's remove. Let's take one more. Now remove them. It's okay. So now instead of uh, giving your data like this, we are getting your data like this. So what will happen if I will read this? We will try to read this data in SAS. Now, what will happen here? The first name will come Sam. The last name De Silva will come, and the age is 53. That's it. as you have already understood the concept of reading behavior is like sas cannot sas never read the extra or left behind data once it completes giving the value to the last defined variable what will happen what actually happens the moment it receives the value to the last defined variable it it you know compiles uh, the data for that particular uh, record for particular observation and state it by given underscore n underscore equal to n or 1 or to any any value the moment it happens it, the pointer jumps to the next line now in this case i cannot see any other line uh, defined in my observation even let me write one more line so what will happen that i'm going to do this let's say this is my david and david this will uh, uh, let it be and this is let's say 50 so now what will happen in this case now sam de silva 53 will be in observation number 1 and then david de silva 50 will be in observation number 2 irrespective what all are mentioned in my observation this is what the behavior of sas to read a data there is no confusion right first name got the value last name got the value age got the value simple very simple to understand this the moment age before this semicolon got a value the pointer will jump to the next line which is this line so what we have to do with this data this is of no use as per the reading logic right and which is correct logically now in 
observation number two we will get David De Silva and Fifto. The 15. That's it. Let's see. Sam De Silva 53, David De Silva 50. Now what if we if we receive a data like this? So what we will do here? We will use double at the rate. Now understand this. What it actually does? Like what what what? Why we use uh, double trailing? Like double trailing instructs SAS to read the complete line and it only jumps to the next line when it reads completely, you know, the full line. So whatever available in my data, first it will run, scan every defined keyword, every defined value, then only it will jump to the next line. So let's start with, uh, let's start reading with only one line first to understand how many observations are coming in, in our output now look instead of one observation you have six observations wow so all your data is in your output even though you received your data like this with the help of double trailing so how double trailing is useful to read the complete line whatever you have available in your data now what we had the other line like this so we were we will expect here you know 12 observation as we are getting six from a line and this is just a copy paste of your last line so we will expect two 12 observation in our output let's see here we go look how this is interesting to read uh, you know data with double trailing or a single training how, how the smart how smartly it's moving the pointer uh, while we are using single trailing and how smartly it's reading the data while we are using double trailing so i would suggest you to go back and uh, do some more uh, examples based on single trailing and double trailing and also i will try to put in some more example in uh, uh, some quizzes or uh, you will see somewhere around uh, you know how to use uh, these you know options keyword in another ways uh, and this is the proper use of single trailing and a double trailing so it's, it's always good to take some you know uh, different scenarios where you can apply these concepts so this is basically a very good way of learning anything it's not uh, uh, something that you can use one thing in a way but of course in so many ways so that you have to explore and only when you will do practice hope you enjoyed this session see you in next lecture thank you very much